Good morning students I welcome you all in this today's section Today we have to learn 7th standard English unit 3 grammar preposition What is mean by preposition A preposition is a word that comes before a noun or a pronoun and establishes the relationship between noun and other part of a sentence Some of the Important prepositions are here at, on, in, by, with, among, between, for, under, between and beneath. Look at these images of preposition and watch the video carefully until the end. Don't skip the video students. You get more information about the preposition topic is preposition before getting into the topic i am going to give you a story i hope you can see the story on the screen read the story carefully once a wealthy merchant came to king akbar's court to seek help from birbal he suspected that one of his servants had robbed from him on hearing this birbal thought of a clever plan and summoned the merchant servants he gave each servant a stick of the same length. He told them that the thief's stick would grow two inches by the next day. The next day, Birbal summoned the servants again. He noticed that a servant's stick was two inches shorter than the others. He knew who the thief was. The foolish thief had cut the stick shorter by two inches as he thought it would grow two inches, thus proving his guilt. In the story, one day, one merchant pati, one vyabari, ama one naale akbar odiya court one day birbala meet panra, meet pani solra. In the mari enode servant le, wo yaro ena one day yamati thirdi tanga. Yar ena ne ko kandu puri ko mudi le. Ningu da ne ko help panano abdinte kekra. Aadha court or ne birbala ena solra ru one clever plan or panra re. Panite, on the merchant kita soldra re, nali ke bandu, umur de servant sallla, ina bandu pakas soldunga, abdin soldra re. Apa, on next day, on the servant sallla, ibu ramai meet pandat kaga barang, ke agbar ode court ke. Apa, birbal ena pandra re, ure ala udaya, stiksa bandu, over terkailing kudra re. Kudite ta ur soldra re, do parang apa, ibu bandu, aritnal kahle la ninge pati kena ka, ibu rende inch bandu, nilama valand turko. Pat konga, abdin solite, na pandra rava rande sticks ya, rande servants kita kudkara re. Pori servant, awa na pandra abdin pata, ka na pandra night weetik poite. Ida ipre wacir nda dana ida two inches walande innu konyo ni ta edo. Nama ida na pandra rende inche chinna da kila, rende inche shorter ay mana pandra cut pandra. Cut pandra ita artena lehtu tu barangga, ayur cooper rara beer balai lari tripi warsol rara, apai la moon servants orang orde sticks lehtu tu barangga. Angga pataka, satu servant udah stick mati, na itruke, kunci orang dua inci, china da itruke. Ada pata orang ni, mai urkan du putcher rara, yar bandi ini mari tapu seidur pa, abdin solit. Pah birbal bandi, awur udah budhi sali tanam mana plan nala, yar ku yenda prachni ulam, yar bandi ini merchanta yamatir pangga, abdin solit, kan du putcher rara, ini dah ini story. Now there is an activity for you. You have read the story and you know the story. The story is arranged in a jumbled manner. What you have to do is arrange the story in correct order. Read out the sentence. Birbal gave each servant a stick of same length. Once a wealthy merchant seek help from Birbal. Birbal told them that the stick would grow two inches by next day. He thought one of his servants had robbed from him. Birbal summoned the servants. Birbal found the thief. The foolish thief cut the stick shorter by two inches. Okay, we will discuss the answer now. I hope you have arranged the story in correct order. Shall we read out the order? Once a wealthy merchant seek help from Birbal. Very good. What comes next? He thought one of his servants had robbed from him. Very good. Next, very good, Birbal gave each servant a stick of same length. Very good. Then 
he told them that the stick would grow 2 inches by next day. Very good. What will be the next point? Next will be the Birbal summoned the servants. And next, the foolish thief cut the stick 2 inches shorter. And end of the paragraph is Birbal summoned the thief. Birbal found the thief. Very good. You have participated in this activity. Very nice. Shall we move on to the next? As I told you before, in this lesson, we are going to discuss about preposition. Now I am going to sing a preposition song for you. It is a song which helps you to remember preposition. Before I get to the song, I would like to do a quick refresher on what prepositions are. Prepositions are one of the eight parts of speech and the definition can sound a little bit complicated especially if you are learning grammar. Here is the definition. A preposition comes before a noun or pronoun in a sentence. A preposition is a word that shows the relationship between a noun or a pronoun and some other elements in the rest of the sentence. I hope you have understood the definition for preposition. Shall we move on to the song? Very good. I will sing the song for you. You have to listen to me carefully and follow me. This is a song about poo poo. Poo poo is nothing but a bear. Poo poo is a name of a bear. Okay. Where is poo poo? Where is poo poo? In the bedroom, in the bathroom, in the kitchen, in the study room. Can you see poo poo? Can you see poo poo? Where is poo poo? Where is poo poo? On the table, on the chair. On the sofa, on the light, can you see poo poo? Can you see poo poo? Where is poo poo? Where is poo poo? With English teacher, with Mr. Chan, with Miss Rosie, with Cookie Monster. Can you see poo poo? Can you see poo poo? Where is poo poo? Where is poo poo? On the table near the blackboard, under the clock in the cupboard. Can you see poo poo? Can you see poo poo? Children, I hope you have enjoyed the poem. How was the poem? Was it nice? Did you enjoy? Okay. We'll sing the poem again. Listen to me carefully and follow me. Where is poo poo? Where is poo poo? In the bedroom, in the bathroom, in the kitchen, in the study room. Can you see poo poo? Can you see poo poo? Where is poo poo? Where is poo poo? On the table, on the chair, on the sofa, on the light. Can you see poo poo? Can you see poo poo? Where is poo poo? Where is poo? With English teacher, with Mr. Chan, with Miss Rosie, with Cookie Monster. Can you see poo poo? Can you see poo poo? Where is poo poo? Where is poo poo? On the table, near the blackboard. Under the clock, in the cupboard, can you see poo poo? Can you see poo poo? Now we'll move on to the prepositions. Prepositions can be classified into two groups. One is prepositions of place or positions. 
and two is prepositions of time. First, we are going to deal with preposition of place or position. Children, now look at the picture. I hope you can see a cat. Where is the cat? Very good. The cat is in the box. He is in the box. The cat is in the box. Now, tell me where is the cat? The cat is behind the box. Now, tell me where is the cat? Now, the cat is beside the box. And now, where the cat is? Yes, the cat is in front of the box. Now, look at the picture carefully and tell me where the cat is. Very good. The cat is near the box. Then, now look at the second picture. Where is the cat now? The cat is under the box. Now, tell me where the cat is. The cat is on the box. Now, where is the cat? The cat is between the boxes. Children, in these sentences, we have used in the box, in front of. The cat is near the box. The cat is under the box. The cat is on the box. The cat is between the boxes. Now we will take a ball as an example. You have to tell me where the ball is. Okay. The ball is above the box. Movement illama irundhichina nama preposition above use pannuvo. In the box ikku mele and the ball irukku ana and the ball move agala. And the mari move agama or edathile irukudhu abdinu mode nama enna use pannano above use pannuvo. Now look at the second picture. Aeroplane where is the aeroplane fly? Very good. The aeroplane is flying over the building. Now we have used over. Mala pogo. Anna adhila vandhu movement irukkanu. Adhik vandhu over abdi nirudhano. Movement illama apde irundhichi abdi na adhik enna use pananu. Above use pananu. Okay. Now we will move on to the second type. Prepositions of time. Prepositions of time show when something happened. Common prepositions of times are at, on, in. Shall we look at the examples? I eat breakfast at 7 a.m. The wedding is on September 8th. Flowers grow in the spring season. Na in a breakfast kalele yet maniki sabdava the time munadi at use panano. Time seven AM Soldron Lia Adi Kumunadi and a preposition use panano at. The wedding is on September eighth. Inga paranga date soldranga. In September Masa Yetan de di Kalyano Abdin Soldranga Pa Adi can a preposition use panir grow on. Next sentence flowers grow in the spring season. In the Mari season, Alla Solomode, summer, spring, autumn, Alla Solralia, and the Mari seasons of Patti Solomode, Adakumunadi, in Abdinra preposition and Amma, use Parano. Next, prepositions of time, at plus time. If example, Pare, we eat dinner at 7 30 p.m. The elder Maniki, night and hunger dinner, Sapuva, Abdina, elder Kumunadi, and Apodano, at Podo. He goes to school at 8.45 a.m. Away at the Maniki school pova at 8.45 a.m. Ade Marda at plus night, at plus dinner time, at plus lunch time. Now look at the example. I watch TV at night. They eat in the canteen at lunch time. Now look at the example. She has a job interview on Monday. So on the day was solranga on Monday, Tuesday. Is the last solder only and the days are sold modi adukumunadi na mena use parano on use parano. Next, we always play football on Fridays. So before days, we have to use the preposition on. We use on for dates. On plus dates. The students have a test on October 2nd. Students ke October 2nd test irkudhe. Appa October 2nd abdeenre date ku munnaadi enna preposition varano? On varano. Next, my birthday is on March 19th. Enna day birthday eppa varudhe? March maso patan badan thethi. Appa andha thethi e soldrathu ka amma enna preposition use panro? On. Next, in. The preposition in. Where we will use the preposition in? 
in plus the morning ipo vande morning appdin solano afternoon appdin solano evening appdin solano the morning the afternoon the evening appdin sollum modala adukku munadi in use pananum the morning the afternoon the evening idukku munadi la enna preposition use pananum in for example she drinks coffee in the morning ava eppa coffee kudipa she drinks coffee in the morning next they go to the temple in the afternoon here we have used in before the morning and the afternoon next we also use in for months and years ipa maadangal varshangal idala use pannuvom illaya adukku munadi nam enna preposition use pananom in use pananom that is in plus month in plus year for example my mother plants vegetables in june i graduated in 2019 na eppa pattam petren 2019 appa vande maasam solradhukku varsham solradhukku 2019 appdin solanum na adukku munadi in podanum january february march indha mari edavadhu months solanum appdina adukku munadi enna podanum preposition in we use in for seasons too nama vande seasons ku kuda in use pannalam that is in plus the spring in plus the summer in plus the fall in plus the winter adavu the seasons inga enna na solli irukrom the spring the summer the fall the winter for example we go to the beach in the summer nama beach ku eppa povom summer season la povom they see snow in the winter snow va eppa paathaanga avanga winter season la snow va paathaanga appa the summer the winter in the seasons ku munadi enna preposition use pannirukrom in next preposition is into i have given you four examples the girl jumped into the river the teacher entered into the class the cat jumped into the well the boy fell into the pond here we have used the preposition of time into in all the four sentences and the girl vande aathla gudikira appa adha enna solnu into the river teacher classroom la nuraiyiranga enga nuraiyiranga into the class the cat jumped into the well the cat edukulla gudikidu ganathukulla gudikidu the boy fell into the pond and the paiya enga vilundadra பாண்ட் குளத்துல விழுந்துடுறா இதெல்லாம் பத்தி சொல்லும் போது அதுக்கு முன்னாடி வர ப்ரிசிஷன் ஆஃப் டைம் என்ன வரணும்னா இன் டூ நெக்ஸ்ட் அக்ராஸ் வி யூஸ் அக்ராஸ் இஃப் த திங் இஸ் கிராஸ் ஃப்ரம் ஒன் சைட் டு தி அதர் வி ஹாவ் டு யூஸ் த ப்ரிபோசிஷன் அக்ராஸ் எக்ஸாம்பிள் கவிதா ரேன் அக்ராஸ் த ஸ்ட்ரீட் தேர் இஸ் அ பிரிட்ஜ் அக்ராஸ் த ரிவர் நவ் சில்ட்ரன் வீல் மூவ் ஆன் டு தி ஆக்டிவிட்டி here what you have to do is you have to read the sentence carefully and pick out the prepositions there is a case on the table there are some flowers in the vase there are some books near the vase a cat is lying under the table the keys are on top of the books read the passage carefully find out the prepositions we have used in this passage shall we discuss the answer children the preposition used in the first sentence there is a case on the table is on is the preposition and next there are some flowers in the vase here what is the preposition used yes very good in and next there are some books near the vase here what is the preposition we used yes very good near next a cat is lying under the table what is the preposition here very good under and the last sentence is the keys are on top of the books here we have used on very good you have given the right answer shall we move on to the next activity children here you have to complete the following sentences using suitable prepositions of time okay i'll read out the sentence for you the school reopens dash monday I invite my friends to dinner dash christmas eve they are getting married dash 10th of august it usually rains dash the month of july 
birds can't find anything to eat dash the winter we will meet him at 10:30 am dash monday they never go out dash night i don't like studying late dash night these are the sentences you have to fill the blanks with prepositions of time read the sentence carefully and find the answer shall we discuss the answer children what is the answer for the first one the school reopens dash monday very good the school reopens on monday the i invite my friends to dinner dash christmas eve enoda friends and on christmas eve ku dinner ku kooparren anga enna varanum preposition very good i invite my friends to dinner on christmas eve they are getting married dash 10th of august very good they are getting married on 10th of august it usually rains dash the month of july in the month of july next we will meet him dash 10:30 am on monday we will meet him at 10:30 am dash monday we have used two preposition okay so what will be the answer we will meet him at 10:30 am dash monday the answer is on monday they never go out dash night they never go out dash night what is the answer very good at night they never go out at night i don't think studying late dash night very good the answer is at i don't like studying late at night very good children here the activity is fill in the blanks with suitable preposition of place or position here you have to fill the blanks with the words that is the prepositions of place or positions i'll read out the sentence for you i stayed dash home all weekend next there are four cushions dash the sofa mr karan is dash the hospital vimala hangs a picture dash the wall i read a story dash the newspaper ramiza is dash school sudhakar is swimming dash the river ricky is standing dash the bus stop ricky is standing dash the bus stop these are the questions now you have to fill the blanks with prepositions of place or position shall we discuss the answer children okay for first one i stayed dash home all weekend very good at home all weekend i stayed at home all weekend next there are four cushions dash the sofa on the sofa very good there are four cushions on the sofa next mr karan is dash the hospital mr karan is in the hospital very good next sentence vimala hangs a picture dash the wall vimala hangs a picture dash the wall very good on the wall vimala hangs a picture on the wall next sentence i read a story dash the newspaper i read a story in the newspaper very good ramiza is dash school what is the answer for this sentence ramiza is at school very good ramiza is at school next sudhakar is swimming dash the river very good sudhakar is swimming in the river ricky is standing dash the bus stop at the bus stop ricky is standing at the bus stop very good children shall we move on to the next read the substitution table and frame sentences here there is a substitution table for you and frame sentences of your own 
நீங்களே வந்து சென்டென்ஸை உருவாக்கணும் இந்த சப்ஸ்டியூஷன் டேபிளில் இருக்கிறத வச்சு என்ன பண்ணணும் சென்டென்ஸை நீங்களே ஃப்ரேம் பண்ணுங்க பார்க்கலாம் த கார் இஸ் மை பைசைக்கிள் இஸ் த கார் இஸ் த போட் இஸ் த பாய் இஸ் சிட்டிங் ஹீ இஸ் ஸ்டாண்டிங் த ப்ரிப்போசிஷன்ஸ் யூ ஹவ் கிவன் ஆர் அட் நியர் அண்டர் இன் பிட்வீன் அண்ட் ஆஃப்டர் தேட் இஸ் த பஸ் the shop the bridge a cat the lorry and the house you have to frame sentence of your own shall we frame the sentence together children okay my bicycle is at the bus stop my bicycle is at the bus stop the car is near the shop the car is near the shop the boat is under the bridge the boat is under the bridge the boy is sitting in a car the boy is sitting in a car he is standing between the lorry and the house he is standing between the lorry and the house very good children in the last activity i hope this activity is fill in the blanks with suitable prepositions ஏதாவது ஒரு ப்ரிப்போசிஷன் அது இருக்கலாம் ப்ரிப்போசிஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் பிளேஸாக இருக்கலாம் இல்லை ப்ரிப்போசிஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் டைமாக இருக்கலாம் இதுக்கு எது சூட்டான ப்ரிப்போசிஷனோ அதை கண்டுபிடிச்சி நீங்கள் ஃபில் பண்ணணும் ஓகே ஐ ரீட் அவுட் த சென்டென்ஸ் ஃபார் யூ ஐ லிவ் டேஷ் சென்னை த புக் இஸ் டேஷ் த டேபிள் மை பேக் இஸ் டேஷ் த டெஸ்க் ஐ யூஸ்வலி கெட் அப் டேஷ் ஏஎம் தேர் இஸ் அ ஹவுஸ் டேஷ் டூ ட்ரீஸ் தீஸ் ஆர் த சென்டென்சஸ் Read out the sentences carefully and give the answers. The answer for the first sentence, I live in Chennai. The preposition we have used here is in. Next sentence, the book is dash the table on the table. Next, the, my bag is under the desk. I usually get up at 6 a.m. I usually get up at 6 a.m. There is a house between two trees. Very good children. In the last activity is, I have given you some instruction. You have to read out the instructions carefully and draw according to the instruction. If you are going to study the instructions, you will be able to study the instructions. Okay? Read the following instructions carefully and draw the picture. Draw a circle in the middle of your paper. For this activity, you have to take a paper. and draw a circle in the middle of the paper and the paper ode naduvula or circle varainom round varainom then draw a square below the circle square ninga enga varainom and the circle ke keela varainom it should touch the bottom of the circle and the circle la todano in the square circle ode bottom in the square ana padano todano and finally draw a small triangle above the circle now what you have to do is you have to draw a triangle mukkonam adu vandu enga varaino above the circle circle ku mele varaino these are the instructions read out the instructions and draw the picture with this we have finished this lesson I students i hope you are all understood the grammar part very well read the preposition and do the book back exercises in your english textbook page number 149 to 151 if you completed your homework immediately send in the whatsapp group thank you students